Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this acceleration problem, they want us to figure out for this scenario with the pike, which is a fish, how fast the acceleration is during its strike, and then they want us to figure out how far it moves during that strike. So for the first part, for A, then let's write down the formula for acceleration, which of course is the change in velocity over the change in time. Now they give us the velocity in meters per second and they give us the time in seconds so we're both in standard units so we can actually just plug these straight in so we have four meters per second for the change in velocity over 0.11 seconds for the change in time and so now let's calculate that four divided by 0.11 gives us 36 uh, let's see, so it'll round down, so 36 meters per second squared. So that is the acceleration during the strike for the pike. So now for part B, they want us to figure out how far did it go during the strike. And so for this, what we'll be using is the kinematic equations. Okay, so now when we go through the kin kinematic equations, this is the one that you'll see where we have all of the information for the formula and the variable that we need to solve for. So what we need to solve for is the x final, which is um, convenient because we don't have to do any rearranging. If we go through the formula, the x initial is going to be zero because it's starting from rest, so we can get rid of that. The velocity initial is also zero, so we can get rid of this whole unit because zero times anything is zero. So what we're left with is the x final, which is what we need to solve for, is equal to one half times the acceleration times the time squared. So now when we plug in our value, we have one half times the acceleration, which we just figured out was 36 meters per second squared. And now we will multiply that by the time, which they say is 0 0.11 seconds squared. 0.5 times 36 times 0.11 squared gives us a distance of 0.2178, so we'll round that to 0 0.22 meters. So when you square the seconds, you have seconds squared, so we have meters per second squared times seconds squared, so the seconds will cancel, leaving us with meters. So here is the distance that the pike, a predatory fish, moves in this problem during the strike is 0.22 meters.